have four days left working as a software tester. There was no form of excitement for me in it. I just feel so excited for the future. Hi friends, welcome to a brand new work week in my life. This one is uh, a little special. It's actually my last work week as a QA. I only have four days left working as a software tester for a technology company. And yeah, I definitely want to document my last work week. I documented my first one almost two years ago. Welcome to my first ever work week in my life and my first day of a new job. I'm really excited. I'm glad I'm documenting this because I hope a year from now when I know what I'm doing and I feel like I'm good at my job, I can look back and watch myself get started. <laughs> it was one of my very first YouTube videos, so it was filmed on a little iPhone 6 and it was very awkward to talk to the camera, but it is Tuesday because Mondays are just... Honestly, yesterday was a super dreary kind of lazy day and I don't know if you can hear it, but it's still pouring rain. If you're new here, hello, my name is Madeline. I currently, for four more days, work as a software tester for a technology company. I work from home every day except Friday. After this week, I will be a graduate student studying psychology to become a licensed therapist. That's my life in a little nutshell. Oh, we do have a whole bunch of friends coming over tonight because my friend group has been doing Tuesday night dinners together for the last few months. It's such a great little tradition. If you have like a group of friends or your family, I highly recommend it. Do some little weeknight dinner. It's just so nice seeing them every week and just like having a little community dinner. My our dishwasher is broken right now. Well, it's not even in there, but we ordered a different one. It'll be here in two days. Yeah, I'm very excited to have dishwasher again. So I told myself I should just stay away. These lyrics keep coming out. I don't think I can stop it now. I wonder if they'll get to you. Okay, I'm logged in a little bit early. It's only 7.51. I was ready. I have way too much time when I don't go to the gym in the morning. I'm not super sure what I'm going to be working on today. With the timing of things, I don't want to start anything really new right now because tomorrow is our deadline day for release. I think I have a lot of meetings today. Yeah, so I'm mostly just going to be helping out with issues that the other testers on my team are assigned to. I shared this salad recipe a few vlogs back. I will link it somewhere. Still on the salad game. It is so good. And it's one of the only ways I eat greens in a day. Like I put spinach in my smoothies also, but I get so many more greens when I eat the salad. It makes me feel better. Beautiful. So it has stopped raining for, it might still be raining. If it's raining, it's only a little bit and I need to go for a walk, I think. And I really don't feel like taking a nap. Really just wanna go for a lunchtime walk. I'll walk around our neighborhood, possibly in the rain. It's my favorite way to spend my lunch break. So we're gonna do it anyway. Hey guys, the work day is coming to a close almost. I still have like 20 minutes. It's so weird. Like I have three days left. So I'm trying not to like overstep and work on other people's work. Lucy, trying not to overstep and work on other people's work because I'm not gonna be on the team anymore. So anyway, once it's five o'clock, it's time for Tuesday night dinner when all my friends are coming over. Tonight we're doing breakfast for dinner. Every week we have a theme. We've done toddler night, Thai night, taco night. We did the letter M. So every food or beverage had to start with an M. <laughs> yeah, so it's just really fun. Um, I'm gonna make a tofu scramble. Jackson's gonna make biscuits and gravy, like vegan version. And then everybody's bringing their own things like bacon, sausage, waffles. You know what they say about baking. You don't have to be exact. You just kind of eyeball your measurements. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't have doubled that. <laughs> this is so much. This bad boy will go for miles. <laughs> that's a quote. <laughs> Isn't that like, that's a car salesman thing? They slap the roof of the car. Cash 
Kathy, what is the very best breakfast food? Like better than anything? Waffles. <laughs> Grayson, very best breakfast food? Kalachi. I'm a Maybe? chocolate chip pancake person. Oh. Mm. Casey? French toast. Sarah? Hash browns. Oh. Davis Braden? Scones. Sydney? Chocolate chip waffles. Omelet. Omelet, really? Yes. Breakfast food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sloppy turkey bacon. No! Yeah, I dropped my water. So many babies in this shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you cannot see me. Good morning. It is 5 31. About to go to the gym. Well, at first, I need my like pre-workout thing. I've been having this for like a month now and the few times that I've worked out without it sucked. Like I just feel so much more energy when I have it. I have these BCAAs, these vegan aminos, beetroot powder. It's so much better than I thought it would be. Especially these two things mixed together. So I just do eight ounces of water, those powders, one ice cube, and then I shake it. And then I chug it. Okay. Let's go, Jim. Okay, hello. I'm logged into work for the day. Three days left. I have one thing that I'm going to for sure be working on today, but I also messaged my teammates and told them if they need any help with anything, I can help them because today is like our deadline day. So we don't want to start anything like brand new, but if they need help finishing anything up, I can help them. Weird days. These last few days are strange. I wonder what I'm going to do for half of my lunch break to take a nap and now I feel even more tired. The sun has not come out so there's no natural energy for me. What I'm trying to say is I'm gonna make a latte and I have no idea how I made this bun so tall but it's gonna be me in this bun for the rest of the day I guess. Oh also I'm gonna eat these little homemade Laura bars I whipped up. This is just the really strong espresso one. Okay, and here's these little date bars I made. You do have to keep them in the fridge, but I was about to say they're really good, but I haven't tried one yet, so I don't know if they're good. It's just dates, different kind of nuts, a little bit of coconut. Okay, let's see. That's so good. Ooh. This is a supreme combination. I'm happy now. I'm gonna go back to work. Oh, I did already eat lunch. I don't know if I showed it, but I ate lunch at like 10.30 because I was hungry. So. Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. Two days left of my job. I think the last time I talked to you guys was like 2 or 3 p.m. yesterday. I did not vlog yesterday evening because I just felt so drained. And that's one thing I'm really looking forward to changing once I'm not working eight to five anymore. It's just something about spending that amount of time staring at a screen and like stuck in one room and I mean, I work from home, so there's tons of perks with that where like, I can go take a break whenever I want. I could like go for a little walk outside, but I don't know, just every single day knowing I need to spend eight hours on the computer and working on something that like obviously has a purpose, but just isn't, I don't feel connected to it anyway. I just find it very draining. Obviously I'm still gonna work on a computer a lot, school stuff, YouTube videos, but it's more, I can just choose the schedule of it. Like I could wake up at six, work for three hours, and then go to the gym in the middle of the day. Take a little two hour break. That's not very little. Take a two hour break. I, don't know, I think it just is much more in tune with how we actually work. I have a couple meetings this morning and then this afternoon, I actually have an exit interview with someone from HR. That's uh, kind of exciting. It makes it feel very real. I like when the sun in my head, in my head, 
I like when the sun hit my neck, hit my neck. I like when the sun hit my chest, hit my chest. I like when the sun, I like when the sun hit my head, hit my head. I like when the sun hit my neck. Smoothie time. I just got back from my lunchtime walk, which was so lovely. The sun, man, really do be working. Uh, I got dressed finally for the day, but I wanted to use the last little bit of my lunch break to talk to you guys, just, I don't know where my head's at. In last week's video, I talked a lot about how nervous I felt and I was a little bit scared and just like hoping this was the right decision. And the closer I get to everything changing, which tomorrow's my last day, the closer I get, the more confident I feel about this decision in general and just this change of direction. I just feel so light and open and excited. I think that's one of the biggest signs for me that I needed to quit my job was there was no form of excitement for me in it. And I don't mean that a job needs to be like super fun and exciting all the time, but I want to have an interest in learning more and growing in that industry or that job, whatever you want to call it. And I just didn't feel that, but with psychology, with therapy, I feel so excited to learn all about that because I just, there are so many different directions I could possibly take it. I could work for an agency, I could open a private practice, I could write books, I could be a professor. There's so many options. I'm just so excited. I am also so excited about having a different schedule again. I do think working eight to five, Monday through Friday, it has its perks. Like it was really nice having weekends off all the time. It's gonna be so nice, especially since I do try to consistently do YouTube. It's gonna be so nice to have some mornings where like, I could do YouTube work instead, or like I could film something. Instead of giving those prime hours to a job every single day, there's gonna be variation. Like sometimes I'll work a shift, sometimes I won't. I don't know if I've said it in this video. I'm working at Starbucks after this while I'm in school. It just feels so open to possibilities. And I didn't have that feeling for a long time in this last job. It felt very stagnant. It did teach me a lot. I really don't wanna sound like I'm bashing like QA at all or like technology. It is an incredible field to work in. Great job for a lot of people. And I think it can be very fulfilling for certain people. I'm extremely grateful and I wouldn't change anything, but I just feel so excited for the future. So the dishwasher got here and more importantly, Lucy's favorite new spot. You like that, styrofoam? <laughs> Just to hype me, please hype me If everybody like me Then I'll be somebody that I don't like to see Like me I think I can carry these in the morning I'm just gonna look silly People are gonna be like, why is she carrying boxes? That's not weird <laughs> They're gonna know Good morning friends It's my last day I have a little bit of stuff to work on today To finish up I'm going out to lunch with some of my coworker friends and then I get to leave at four because I have to give my badge back to my team lead and that's when she gets off work. So I don't even have to stay till five, which is nice. <laughs> don't know what I would do from four to five. Found this shirt recently at Goodwill and I think it's so cute. So that's my last day work outfit. If everybody like me, then I'll be somebody that I don't like to see like me. If it's not your full set, I... Especially between jobs. I don't work there anymore. It feels weird right now. It feels weird. Hey guys, I'm back home and I have officially quit my job. It's finished. I felt kind of weird on the drive home. I think since today was like an in-office day, I got to see all my coworkers and got to say bye to them in person, which was nice, but like it made it a little bit more sad than if it was just another work from home day and I just logged off like 
I, I will miss the people I worked with. Yeah, it was a good day. I went out to lunch with my team and some other people. I had a lot of good conversations, played a game. I did some work too, like I finished up testing on one thing, the last thing I was on. That two year chapter of my life is over now. I will start classes in four days on Wednesday, next Wednesday. So yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. What? Why did you do it again? <laughs> because she's pinched me three times. <laughs> Get off your face. Okay, stop. <laughs>